everybody. My name is Nicole and welcome back to my kitchen. Tonight I am making one of my favorite meals. We are having quiche. Now I make quiche all day long. You can have it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch, midnight, snack, whatever you want because it's always good. And the best thing about quiche is that you can mix in whatever you want. And today, of course, we are using Philadelphia cream cheese. And I am using the spinach and artichoke flavored cream cheese because that's going to go great in this quiche. Now the theme that we're going for today in our quiche is going to be it's Italian quiche because as you know, my last name is Luciana, and I am an Italian girl, and I'm even maybe related to Lucky Luciano, the infamous gangster from back in the day. So I've got to make the family proud here and make an Italian-inspired quiche. So that's what we're going to do. So I have pepperoni here, and I just went to my local deli and got all these different meats. So they're really easy to find. They're not going to be something, you know, very particular. So I have um, some pepperoni, and I just have four slices of each of these meats, very thinly sliced, and I just finely chopped them. Then I have prosciutto right here, which is a very thinly sliced, almost like a, a lean ham, and so I have that chopped right here, and I've just heated it very lightly in a saute pan um, just to crisp it up a little bit, and then chopped it up, and then finally I have pancetta. Now, if you've never had pancetta, you're in for a treat. It is Italian bacon, and it's a little maybe fattier, but it's delicious. It's got a great flavor, and I have this thinly sliced too, just four really thin rounds, and I heated that up in the skillet and crisp it and drained it and then chopped it up. So it just gives me just, you know, a couple tablespoons, and that's all we need for this one quiche. And then finally, I have my marinated artichoke hearts. Now, I went to my grocery store. They have like a Mediterranean bar right there where they have the different olives and artichoke hearts and salads and things. And I just got four marinated artichoke hearts. If you can't find marinated artichoke hearts already out at your grocery store, you could buy canned artichoke hearts. Sometimes they have them marinated in olive oil. That would be fine. And I've just finally chopped these. You don't have to heat them up or cook them or anything like that. They're already done. So easy. All we're going to do is just put this all into our pie. So I already have an unbaked pie shell here. This is um, 9 inch pie dough and so it's already formed. Um, I've let it defrost and I have my oven set to 375. So all we're going to do is pour in our fillings into our pie shell and then pour in all the creamy eggs and cheese on top of that. Okay, so I'm just going to put, sprinkle my filling, mix it all together, and this is going to be a delicious, savory, very flavorful quiche. Now we're going to add one cup of shredded Italian style cheese. So you can get the mixed Italian cheese that has Parmesan and mozzarella in there, and just do one cup mixed in here, and we have a half a cup that we are reserving to sprinkle on top later. So mix this all together. Perfect. Alright. Now I have six beaten eggs here, and we are going to add a half a cup of heavy cream. Mix that together, season with a little salt and pepper, just to taste, fresh ground black pepper, perfect, and we have our spinach and artichoke cream cheese. Now I have let this soften a little bit, so it should be relatively easy. There we go. To mix right in. Okay. So just kind of whip this up together. So we just use four ounces or half of a container of our spinach and artichoke cream cheese. Mix it all up and just pour it right on top. So we're going to put this in the oven at 375 for about 40 minutes. 
We're just looking for the top to be nice and set, those eggs to be baked, and it's going to be nice and golden brown. Then we'll slice it up and it will be ready to serve. Hot out of the oven, this beautiful golden quiche. We are sprinkling our reserved half cup of our Italian shredded cheese on top, and that's just going to melt with this hot quiche. And we're going to let it cool for about 10 minutes until we slice it, and then it's going to be time to eat. I'll see you next time. My name is Nicole.